everybody. Hi, it's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. I wanted to do a quick video tutorial for you to show you how I load a quilt back on my long arm frame. I have the new Grace Kinique 21X Elite. It is a fabulous machine and I am getting ready to load my chicken salad quilt from Lori Holt's cookbook fabric line onto the long arm and get it ready to uh, quilt out. I'm really excited to play with this. Now, I come from a garment sewing background and I have a lot of people email me and ask me or leave comments under my videos that say, does it matter that I am quilting or embroidering or doing something that is cross grain? And in the quilting world, it really does not matter. In quilting and machine embroidery, grain line is not that important. And the reason being is we're not draping like you do over the curvature of a body. So that's why grain line is important when you are thinking about how a fabric will hang when it drapes over the body. But in a quilt world, quilts fit everyone. <laughs> that's why I like them better. <laughs> <laughs> but there is a garment sewing concept that I use when I load a quilt back on a frame. There are some fabric considerations you need to think about when you're loading the quilt back on a long arm frame. You do not know that the, if you're using a fabric that has a print on it, was the print printed straight on the fabric? Was the fabric cut straight? Was the fabric woven straight? We don't know that. The, and you can see that depending usually on the quality of fabric, but even from quilt shop quality fabrics, you might get something, you go to put it on the long arm frame and it's very wonky. So I want to show you what I do, regardless of whether it's straight or not, it's very difficult to tell, but I normally, in the very beginning, we'll go ahead and fold my fabric from the uh, selvage. I will fold it in half and do a little snip. And I do use that snip center to center on the take up rail, the top take up rail of the long arm. So let me show you what I've got done so far. The fabric that I have on here is called a 108. And a 108 is a quilt backing fabric that is 108 inches in width, where you would normally buy quilt fabric off the bolt, and it is anywhere between 42 and 44 inches. You you would you know you measure on the fold and cut up, and then when you open it up, you've got 42 to 44 inches depending on the manufacturer. So this is a 108 backing. This is from Lori Holt's cookbook line. And I have the edge that has the selvage. I marked it in half with a snip and I put center on the center of my quilt frame and then stretched it out and I've clipped just the center and the two ends. I use red snappers and that's what I'm doing this with. But let me show you what I've done with the rest of the fabric. I have laid out the rest of the fabric so that it is straight. And here's where I wanted to talk about what we consider in garment sewing. You want to let your fabric hang before you put it on the belly bar, which is the front rail right here closest to my belly when I'm quilting, you want to lay this out straight so that it does not have any drag lines. Now there's a couple of drag lines right there, but that's because it is touching the carriage on the long arm itself. If I straighten it out, those drag lines go away. So that is the way I make sure that my quilt back is going to be straight, it will roll straight. And then I did cut center down here. My floor is clean, y'all. I did make a cut right there to identify center. And I will start by taking that center and putting it up as close to center as possible 
while keeping an eye on the fabric and making sure, let me show you what I mean by a drag line. See that? That is a drag line. That tells me it is not straight. That's a problem. You need to make sure that it is straight. That will help you regardless. Let me straighten this out, it bothers me. So that will help you regardless to make sure that your backing is going to go on straight. So I'm gonna put the camera back on the stand and show you how I do this. All right, so I'm going to get this fabric, make sure it is as straight as possible here in the center, and I'm gonna lift it up and look down in the well and make sure I'm straight. And I am not on center. It is just a little bit off, about an inch off, but that's okay. It doesn't matter that it's not center because the well does not have any drag lines in it. And if there's no drag lines in the well, then the, the top is going to be flat on the backing. And I'm just popping these red snapper clips right on the edge here. Everything looks straight down in the well right now. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start taking it up on the take up rail. And as I get closer to where I can see if there are gonna be any drag lines developing down in the well, I'll show you what I mean, let me show you. So it's hard to tell right now on this side because I've got folds where the fabric is lying on the floor, but I can tell on this side and down straight here, there are no drag lines. That's what you're looking for down in the well to make sure you don't have drag lines one direction or the other. And if you do, you need to shift your fabric up here. So I'm going to begin rolling the backing fabric up on the take up rail and see if any drag lines on this side develop at all. It looks pretty good. I've got a little bit of a drag line down in here. Let me see. Yep, I've got something that's developing. And let me zoom in and show you what I'm talking about. Can you see that down in there? There are drag lines right there. See that? So I need to change how this fabric on the belly bar hangs so that I don't get anything. And then there's some right in here. See those right there? So I need to move this fabric just a little bit. I'm gonna take off my little clips here, all three of these, and I am going to shift this this way. There, that straightens out the drag lines. That gets me closer to center. I'm still not on exact center, but I'm closer. No drag lines here and no drag lines here. And then this edge, I've got some here. I need to drop this down till it's nice and smooth and straight. This is working with the grain of the fabric so that you don't end up with a skewed backing. just a little bit that's great that looks really good so you can see again I've got a little bit of a crease right here that is from the carriage on the on the quilt machine but now we have no drag lines here and I have none on this side either this I know is going to roll straight I don't care that it does not match on the ends up here on the top on the take up rail, if it rolls skewy, that's okay because the center of the fabric is straight. I'm only coming over here because I don't want to get any folds from where it is touching the, this is a pretty wide quilt back. <laughs> Look at that, that's straight. That's a straight quilt back and it rolled up straight. 
it is not straight over here on the edges. I'm gonna show you. It is not straight even. All the edges are not straight even right here. I don't care about that. And it's not straight even over here on this edge. I don't care about that. What I care about is that the center of it is straight and it does not have any drag lines. That's what I'm after, just like that. All right, so now I'm going to finish putting my red snappers onto my fabric edge so that it rolls up and holds very tightly for the rest of the quilting process. There is a rod, uh, the, the same red plastic. There's a rod that is encased in the edge of the leader on the quilt frame. And that's what this channel, that's what this channel right here is gripping onto. Likes to roll around on you a little bit. Doesn't hurt your hands. This is the Grace Continuum 2 quilt frame and I do have what is known as the idler rail. I like this very much. It makes sure I have a nice flat surface right here. I have smaller ones. I cut these. I took a big one and cut it down into smaller sizes. Now I am ready to roll my belly bar up. See, my backing is nice and straight with no drag lines. This is perfect. This is exactly what I'm after. So don't get all hung up on, it has to be exact center when it goes onto the frame because you never know whether the fabric is square, if it was printed straight, or if it is off grain when you bought it, you have no way of knowing. But I can tell you right now, no matter how I move this quilt around throughout the whole process, I'm never gonna get any tucks or bumps or anything like that in my backing. I hope this was helpful. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. We'll talk to you soon. You guys go sew something. Bye.